For this tutorial today, we're going to work on a smocking pattern. What you're going to need is your needles in the round with your uh, edging already knit from either the smocking head wrap pattern or the smocking hat pattern. And then you're going to need an extra needle. It can be a short double point or it can be a cable needle will work also. Okay. So I have a rib and then the row that I just finished is knit purl 3, knit purl 3. So what we're going to do is after you finish a row of knit purl 3 your first stitch of your round is going to be a knit stitch and you're going to take the first five stitches and you're going to slide them onto your extra needle. Okay. Now you're going to take your yarn tail and you're going to then wrap counterclockwise around the five stitches on the center needle. I'm going to do it twice and then I usually pull mine tight just because I like the real definition look. Okay, then you're going to have your yarn tail behind again and what you're going to do now is you're going to knit the first stitch off, then you're going to purl three stitches. It's a little tricky because the stitches are so tightly uh, pressed together by the yarn that you wound around the outside. And then you're going to knit the last stitch. All right, so you have your first. Then you're going to purl three stitches. And you're ready to start all over again. I'll do one more so you can watch. Transfer five stitches. So, take your yarn tail starting from behind, wrap counterclockwise, twice, pull tight, then you're going to knit one, purl three, knit one, off of your extra needle, back on to your needles in the round. And then you're going to do purl three and start all over again. That is how you do a simple smock pattern. In my patterns I call it a smock, smock five because you're smocking five stitches together.